Hi, my name is Gal Shafir, and I'm the Global Director of Pre-Sales Engineering with Simplify. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the unique and powerful capabilities that the Simplify platform offers security service providers. To get a general overview of the Simplify platform, make sure to watch our video tour. Hybrid security operations, where service providers collaborate with end user security teams are quickly becoming the norm which is why we put a lot of focus on streamlining this experience in the Simplify platform. One of the things to note about the Simplify platform for MSSPs is that the platform is completely multi-tenant from the core. That allows you to create data segregation and to get different access permissions for different users in the platform based on the customer tenant that they belong to. And the second thing is that once customers are invited to Simplify, the MSSPs are able to create different permission groups to allow them to collaborate together um, and really decide on which pieces of the platform and which permissions they want each one of their customer users to have. That allows MSSPs to uh, create users accounts for their customers and then assign customer tenants to them that they're uh, going to be allowed to see, um, permission groups and maybe their SOC role, which we'll uh, touch on in a second. So as an MSSP, I will build a playbook, um, for example, a phishing playbook, a malware playbook, cloud security, or really anything that I want to deliver a security service based on. Now, once those playbooks are created, um, which uh, at the end of the day will automate a lot of the response and the enrichment um, to get more information around threat intelligence, um, and, and really will deal with the automation piece, the Simplify platform allows MSSPs to create different views of how the information will be presented based on the different SOC roles that we just talked about. That means that if I'm a tier one, tier two, or tier three analyst in the internal SOC of the MSSP, maybe I would like to see information in one way. For example, um, header analysis information, thread intel, and some information that might be considered as my intellectual property. But if I am a customer logging into the same case, as an MSSP, I might uh, want to uh, undisclose some of that information. And so an MSSP can create multiple views for the same playbook, meaning that if I'm an internal analyst, I'll be able to see um, the header analysis and MITRE attack information and threat campaign and insights and maybe some other information. And those widgets are very much designable because they are all HTML. So that allows me to either use some of the out of the box presets um, and really display the information in any way, shape, or form that I want to. And if my customer is logging in to see the same case, if I chose uh, that the customer wants to see it or should have access to see it, I only want to display some aspects of the case. Now, at the end of the day as an MSSP, I will work in a case, and here is really our case queue. I will be able to see the different customers or different tenants where the cases came from. I'll be able to filter those out um, as well from here. And then when I'm working on a case, for example, working and in, in investigating the C2 traffic, which has an IRC connections um, alert, I will be able to see all that data, right? As, as an uh, internal analyst, for example, the EDR enrichment, the entities, um, enrichment from IP void, MITRE attack, and maybe some other full queries to get me more information around that. Um, now, as a customer, I will be able to see different things. So let's say I'm an analyst in an MSSP and I got this case and I understand that this is something malicious and I want to collaborate with my customer on it. One of the things I'll be able to do is to actually go ahead and assign it to my customer, which will make my customer now see this case. I will be able to also chat with my customer um, and write some messages so they will be able to see and get uh, more information. For example, hey, dear customer, um, you need to approve this. This is quite urgent. And then maybe the customer will reply, hey, this is approved by my SOC manager, which I'll be able to later pin to the case wall and make sure this is uh, um, evidence in the case wall, which I can later get reports on. Now let's move to the customer point of view to see how the customer would get this experience. So from the customer point of view, once the case is assigned to me, only then I'll be able to see the case. So I can only see cases that my MSSP has allowed me to see. 
as a customer, when I open this case, I'll be able to see all that information, but only the widgets and only the pieces of data that my MSSP decided that I need to see. For example, if I'll click on the same IRC connection alert that we just reviewed together, I'll be able to see only limited amount of information um, that my MSSP has shared with me. So as a customer, I'll be able to um, understand what is going on and maybe just approve one of the actions, right? Um, add IP to the block list. And as a customer, I'll be able to click respond, see which entities will get affected and just click done or execute. And that will be um, my responsibility as a customer, um, as well as of course the chat that I chatted with my MSSP um, that I'll be able to uh, uh, get all the evidence. So on one hand, the MSSP is doing the triage for me. They escalate to me only the cases that I care about. I will get a notification that a new case has been assigned to me as a customer. And then I'll be able to either respond, chat with my MSSP and make the right decisions. As a customer, I can also see dashboards that my MSSP has decided to share with me. You can see that the dashboards are review only in this case, and I can only see the information for my customer tenant. I will not be able to see um, information for other customers like my MSSP would. And the third thing, which really um, is interesting for MSSPs and customers, are some forms of change requests. The MSSP, MSSP can build forms um, to whatever extent they want and decide to share them with customers so they can um, require change requests, which will trigger a case and some automation after that. So maybe my MSSP has created a form or a request for me to hunt an IOC or for me to run a vulnerability scan on one of my endpoints as a customer or really anything that you can think of. And so as a customer, I can choose the request based on whatever the MSSP has decided to share with me. Uh, in this case, I want to hunt for an IOC. I can just paste my IOC identifier. In this case, it would be a hash. And then I'll be able to choose the priority. I'll also be able to put a description that my MSSP will get as part of the case. Once I click save as a customer, that will open this new request and simplify for my MSSP, which will trigger a new case and potentially a new playbook, as you can see here, that will go ahead and hunt this for me and get me um, all this information. Coming back to the MSSP view, I'll be able to see that we have a new hunt IOC request that came from this customer. If I click on that, I can already see that this uh, um, case has triggered a playbook. And the playbook went ahead and hunted for this hash through the Splunk with some queries or any other SIM and basically hunted through it um, with my EDR in the SIM. Now, as an analyst in the customer side, I can see the hash that was created by the customer. I can see that other events have been found around this hash from the EDR at the customer side. And I can see that the playbook is already offering the customer, hey, a hash has been verified in your environment. Please approve adding it to the blacklist. Now, as a customer, I will get a notification that says that there's a new blacklist hash um, action waiting for me. And if I go to my pending action list, I can actually see all the critical ones and sort them from the newest to oldest. And I'll be able to see that a minute ago, there's a critical case um, that is waiting for my decision as a customer to approve to blacklist the hash in my EDR. As a customer, I can just go ahead, click respond, click approve, um, and block the hash immediately. So this was a quick demonstration of the capabilities of the Simplify platform for MSSPs. If you'd like to learn more, you're welcome to schedule time for a more in-depth discussion or try our free community edition. As always, thanks for watching.